disappointment with God is a, a touchy thing. I remember a very specific situation where the Lord kind of placed me in a setting. And because I had read things about him, I had a certain expectation of how he should move in that situation. And when he didn't do that, it felt in my core like he chose not to show up, like he chose not to be there. I knew in my mind, in my heart, that that's not of his character. But because I was in the middle of a situation, I felt really abandoned by him. And it caused me to be disappointed in who he was, where there was an opportunity when he could have been my knight in shining armor. It, knight in shining armor, it felt like he chose not to. What do you do with that? Um, I took my time with it, is what I did. And that's not out of arrogance. I think as people, we don't, we're not necessarily taught how to communicate. Even if you think about, you, you know, having an upsetting moment with somebody that you love, typically you don't even get to the root of the real issue until you allow your sp yourself to expressively be vulnerable with that other person. And that takes a level of vulnerability. Instead of saying you didn't, it's this is how it made me feel. We don't like doing that. And so because we haven't practiced that in our adulthood, we don't know how to come before a God who is almighty and say, I felt like you should have showed up and you didn't. We don't know how to say that. We feel bad for saying that. We feel it, but we won't say it. So what do you do when that happens? When you feel like he could have showed up, but he didn't. When it feels in your heart like it was an actual choice. If God is all-knowing and he's everywhere and he saw the situation, feels like he decided to abandon me here. What do I do with that? How do you go to him and communicate that in reverence, understanding who he is in the situation? Uh, it took me actually a couple weeks to get over that. I was so angry. To be honest, there were moments I chose not to read my Bible in my ignorance. It was more of me practicing avoidance because I didn't know how to vocalize to God, like, I'm your daughter, and you. I feel like you just left me, like, out to dry. Like, you just tossed me to the wolves. But your, your word says everything opposite of that. So what truly happened in the situation? Through that situation, the Lord told me that I had placed my level of expectation and saw the situation from my own perspective. But because I don't have his eyes... I couldn't possibly see how he saw the situation and it wasn't that I was alone or that he had abandoned me. But he encouraged me when I feel those things, one, to come and talk to him. There's no, he's not afraid. He, it's not that he can't handle how we feel. He can handle every emotion that we experience. He gave us emotions to bring them back to him for clarity. But in that space, I was just angry and I wanted to be angry because he didn't come to my rescue and he said, when that happens, talk to me about how you feel, but also ask me, what is it that you're missing about the situation? If you believe in your heart, if you believe in your heart that I'm good and you know that I'm good, but this situation didn't prove that to be true to you, ask me to show you the truth of the matter because we're responding from it from, a, from like limited understanding. And so it's not an easy thing to do, but I learned that the first and best thing that I could do was tell God, where were you? Like you, we're gonna encounter situations where his nature or our situation speaks opposite of who he is. Then we could choose to believe the situation because it seems more real, it feels more real. Or we can go to him and say, what am I missing? What am I not seeing? Because I feel this way. But I'm choosing not to let those feelings override what I know to be true about you. So maybe I'm not seeing the truth somewhere. Can you show that to me?